Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host, LTGM007, and today we're looking at the Neo Performance plugin. So, this is a really fantastic plugin which allows you to customize the performance of your server. It's not necessarily an anti lag plugin, but it can help optimize your server and prevent issues from happening. So, we're going to take a look at how we can do that and the features of this plugin. First of all, if we were to do forward slash np help, that's going to show us all of the commands. So, np report is going to give you an an overall performance report of your server so it will show you how much memory is being used the total memory the overall grading and how much cpu power there is and you can also look at individual subjects such as the ticks per second and various other stuff obviously it's a test server that only has me on sometimes so it should be at a plus but if you've got a huge server with lots going on this may not be up to par so next if we do forward slash np chunks what this is going to do is show you all the chunks that are causing the most amount of lag and performance. So it's typically the ones with the most entities in and what you can do is you can click and teleport to any of these. Another useful command is the forward slash np insight command. And this is going to show you a few different things. So what we can see here that it is A+, plus, the ticks per second is 20, it halts when it gets to 15, so anything less than 20 is bad, and the player count is 1. Now you may see here it says the server is halted, and we can change that by doing forward slash np halt. Now halting the server is going to basically put it on pause, so you can stop people from using redstone, teleporting, explosions, mobs removing, all of that good stuff. So if I were to, for example, put some TNT down, it's going to blow up as you would expect. However, if I were to halt the server and then try the same thing, it is simply going to disappear because I have disallowed that in the config file. Now, another really awesome feature is limiting the amount of explosions and mobs in a given radius. So, as you can see, only two of these TNT are lighting up and exploding, the rest disappear. Now, the reason for that is I limited it to two TNT in a 10 block radius in the config, and as you know, if you blow up a lot of TNT, it would lag your server. And then if I were to do mob creeper 10, and here they are, just two of them, because I have also done the same thing here with mobs and limited it to two in a 10 block radius. Now, if the server is halted, you can do forward slash np bypass, and that is going to allow you to bypass the limitations that the halt puts on you. We can then do forward slash np smart clear, and then either choose a world or everything, and if there is something that is causing an issue, that's going to get rid of it. Now, the final thing we're going to briefly look at is the config inside the game. So if we do forward slash np config, this is going to bring up a GUI. There's a language folder, which is the chest, and the config.yml in the book. And then we can go into any of these settings, such as halt settings, halt breaking. Uh, do we want that to be true or false? So we can set that to false. And now when we halt, we are not allowed to break blocks. And obviously you could edit the config file like this. Personally, it would take me a lot longer. Um, it's much easier on the config file, which is where we're going to go now. So here we are in the SMPitnik control panel, and just like in the GUI, we've got the languages folder, which has the different languages you can choose from. And then we have the performance config. So in here, there is a ton of stuff we can do. As I mentioned, and we saw in game, the ticks per second when they go below 15, um, it will be throttled. So you can change that to whatever number you want, depending on your server. And there's a few other things. Do you want users and admins to be notified? Yes or no. When the server is halted and everything gets paused, do you want that to be broadcast? Yes or no. And then here is the mob cap of two in a 10 block radius. And then same for the explosion cap. Um, I changed these to two for the demonstration, but you can set it to what is appropriate for you. And then here is the halt settings. So we can see that there is a variety of things you can turn off, such as explosions, redstone mob spawning, and then lag notifier. So every 60 seconds, it's going to check if there's any lag and then notify. And then you can even set up email notifications if you wanted to be notified via email of issues, reports, and lag in your server. Here we are on the Spigot page. You can see it's updated from 1.8 to 1.20. It has many languages to choose from, which is great. 
It has a ton of useful features which can help improve and stabilize your server. Here are all the commands and permissions we were looking at. And as you can see, these are the main ways it prevents lag from occurring. And it also prevents crashes via these ways as well. This is what it looks like when you have chunks that are performing slightly worse because they have so many entities in. But if you need a server to host it on, check out serveminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. That's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.